on YouTube, this is Rio Beastie, and today I am bringing you guys be the best coming. squad setup for Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm really enjoying squads in Call of Duty Ghosts, and if you have not checked that out yet, I would recommend that you do so because it is not I'm only fun to play back squads, back. but it's actually like really helped me be better at multiplayer. I led three lobbies in a row, got two maniacs, as you'll see one of them in here in a row and anyways I'm gonna show you my or not my squad setup but my ideas on the best squad Destroy setup now this is an actual multiplayer game this is not a squad gameplay I was debating on whether to use a squads gameplay but it doesn't matter anyways too long of an intro I'll get to the setup so first of all I would recommend that you give all of your people all of your squad members a submachine gun or an assault rifle because therefore they're bound to rush more and they're not gonna sit back because I have noticed like what you give them a sniper you give them a what's the other one called the assault rifle thing but it's one fire I can't remember it right now but anyways if you give them those you know like the M14 the <clears throat> MR28 those don't give them those don't give them snipers either you'd rather have them rush around and for example um, if my game mode is domination they'll be rushing the flags not sitting back and sniping now that brings me to my next two squad setup ideas and that would be first change the level to one that you like I'm really enjoying this castle level I mean it's really long range, but I don't know. Unlike most people, I'm not minding the long range levels. And they're actually really good for your squad because I mean, some people are minding them. And if you want to, honestly, if you want to make them mad, pick a long level and they won't want to do that level. Like, for example, I, I won a game because someone quit. I, I got the forfeit victory, which is actually kind of nice. And also, after you've changed your level, you're going to want to change your game mode, too. I mean, I've been playing so much team death, and that's like, people aren't changing their... Look at that, look at that, jumping in the air, and the dog tag stays up in the air, and it's like, I don't want to go get that, but I eventually do. But anyways, I've been playing a lot of team deathmatch, because people don't change their game mode. Now, I doubt team deathmatch is like 90% of the people's preferred game mode. So why don't you guys change it? I mean, you just have to go under Squad HQ and just change your game mode and you level and you can do all that stuff under Squad HQ. And like, I'm doing Domination and I seriously win like two out of five matches. And this is not me. This is all of my AI. They're winning two out of five matches. Not me. Just remember that. Like when I'm offline, when you're offline, your squad will play and will play like one person in their AI people. And my squad is winning two out of five matches. That's without me. So there you go. Game winning kill. And finally, level up multiple soldiers. As you see, I'm at level like 10 or something. But I have other soldiers that are at level 10 too. Now, there's no benefit for the level. But there's benefit in that you get multiple squad points and other unlockables. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys later.